Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to Trapani's Tech Tips for Teachers, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. So probably the most popular question I've gotten from teachers recently has been, okay, so I've posted a Google form as a uh, part of the assignment in classroom and uh, I, I keep getting blank forms submitted back or where do I actually see the answers, you know, that the kids type in or, you know, the kids are clicking, Mark is done, but, you know, something to do with the fact that the form doesn't seem to be working. So I wanted to show you what it really looks like and what you can do. Uh, where am I? Here we are. Here's my Google class. Okay. So if you are in your classroom and you go to uh, a particular assignment that you know has a Google form, so I know this one does, you click on the title of the assignment and view it. This is probably what you're seeing. So you're noticing kids' names and it says turned in, but there's nothing clickable here. You can't really see their answers. You don't know if they really did it or not. So what you do instead is actually click on the form and it brings you to the form as if you were about to fill it out yourself. But down here in the lower right corner is a little pencil icon. And if you click that, you're back in the form um, it, the way it's saved in your Google Drive. So if you were, you could also have accessed it that way. You could have gone into your Google Drive and searched for the title of the form. And if you notice right now, we're looking at the default view, which is all of the questions. But if we click the second tab up here called responses, this is where you can see a summary. There's three options here. You're gonna see a summary of all the people who have responded as well as all of the answers that they've given you. This doesn't really, I mean, it's cool, but it doesn't really help you because you have no idea who said the giver, who said no, who said nothing. You have no idea based on this view. So you could uh, go as uh, to the third tab. This one is going to break it down by question. So here's question one, and you can see you know, the responses that they gave you know, by name. That's a lot to click on. Same with individual. Um, we can look at the person who filled it in and then every the actual form with the responses that they selected. And again, you're going person by person. So right now, you know, this is one student's responses. You can view the whole form. So it's helpful if you're just looking for one kid who said he submitted it and, and you know, you can't see his answers, that might be a way to go. But the other thing, that forms does for you if you don't have the time or desire to go through and scroll individually to see who did what they will create if you look right here it's a green plus it looks like a plus sign but i believe it's supposed to be the icon for sheets um google forms will actually make a google sheet of all the responses organized really nicely so if you click that you have an option oh it's just going to open mine i already have this done when you um, first do it before you connect it to the spreadsheet, you have an option of opening it in a new spreadsheet or connecting it to an existing spreadsheet. Those are your two uh, options. And I usually choose create a new spreadsheet. So again, now in my Google Drive, I have a, a Google Sheet that is called Miss T's Check-In Responses. And now you can see um, everyone's answers and it looks you know, a little bit more like you can do something with it, right? So it tells you the time that the person responded and then the answers to all of the questions. So if one of your questions was type your name, that would be there, um, which this is the, the question, which meme represents how you're feeling, three stars, read any good books lady, lately. So each of these, um, you know, students has you could see in, in like a quick little snapshot view all of their responses. So it's a really uh, convenient way to sort of house everybody's answers. So um, you can either open up the form and, you know, just search for an individual this way, you know, using one of these tabs after you go to responses, you can just see, you know, the summary with your fancy pie charts or go question by question or individual by individual or you can connect it to um, a spreadsheet 
and then it will automatically populate that spreadsheet for you every time a new student uh, responds. So you can always go into your Google Drive and find that spreadsheet or open it through here if you're in your assignment tab and view everybody's answers that way. Hopefully this will show the students that you had questions about, you know, he said he submitted it, but I don't see it. Hopefully you'll find it by, you know, looking in one of these areas. Thanks so much for watching. If you found today's tip useful, like, comment, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you know where to find me.